Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Emerson, reporting from our Queensland permaculture farm. And I really want to talk, give another a quick talk about medical lessons from nature. And this is uh, one of our goats. So his name is Washington, and uh, he's become sick with parasites. And I think one of the problems with medicine these days is that we completely underestimate the power of parasites to make us sick. And I think that's probably because of one of the reasons of that is because of the movement of Homo sapiens away from their ancestral roots, their anthropological heritage, where we all used to look after animals. And I think a lot of our uh, you know, medical professionals now have lost that skill and don't get any lessons from nature. And you only have to see what a parasite can do to a farm animal to know how serious they can be. The other thing that we have to remember about parasites is they're very hard to kill now. The best we've got in medicine is 60% effectiveness. So sometimes it just takes lots of different goes to get it right. And that's because of the increasing resistance of the parasites to modern medicines because of their overuse perhaps in uh, agriculture and the presence of these medicines in the environment which the parasites are getting used to. Second thing you have to remember is that it's not just about killing parasites because this parasite has done an enormous amount of damage to my gut, to my goat's gastrointestinal system, and that has to be repaired afterwards. So even if you're successful in getting rid of parasites, you have to send, spend some time repairing the gut afterwards. The other thing you have to remember is that medicine in general has forgotten about the link of the gastrointestinal system to other parts of the body, and part of that is because of the increasing subspecialization of medicine. Somebody might know all about the ankle joint, but doesn't know the link with the, the skin. And the, the gut, what we've forgotten in medicine is the gut does four things essentially. It absorbs nutrients, it gets rid of toxins, it breaks down food from very big particles into small particles, so we see that food as being friendly, not as foreign. And about 70% of our immune system is in the gut. So when you get a parasite destroying the gut, you get poor absorption of nutrients, toxins from the gut going back into the bloodstream, you get food sensitivities, and your immune system doesn't work very well. So you might go and see somebody with parasites, and they say, well, do you have to, if you don't have torrential diarrhea, you don't need it treated. But geez, your skin's bad, here's your steroid screen. Geez, your asthma's bad, here's your puffer. Boy, your blood pressure's going up, here's your blood pressure medication. Geez, you're a bit low in mood, I'd better put you on antidepressants. But what we've forgotten in medicine is destruction of the gastrointestinal system, and the impairment of those four things the gut does can have a profound effect on every part of the body. So we're currently treating Washington with uh, some anti-parasitic medication and hopefully he's going to make a very good recovery even though he's uh, at the moment still very, very sick.